What does Leon Bridges have in common with Bridges of Madison County and Joe's Bridges right here? Well, terrible intro, but I'm going to show you some of my favorite spots, bridges and high places in downtown Los Angeles. The last time I did a location video for you, learned about some of my favorite spots that aren't like commonly easily found. If you're doing a photo shoot or film shoot, music video documentary in and around the Los Angeles area. And I focus mainly on downtown LA. This time we are covering downtown LA, but I'm also expanding a little bit. I'm thinking of this almost like a tour of LA come with me. The first one is going to be the 6th Street Aqueduct Bridge in downtown LA. This has quite the history of it, but I'll tell you this about the bridge. It just opened perhaps about a year ago. They took down another bridge, which I was quite upset about because I like things that look antique and old and European, etc. But this bridge, they did a pretty phenomenal job on it. What I did is I decided to walk from downtown LA proper through Skid Row. That was quite a fast walk. We are walking through the bridge and I'm walking westbound. Westbound is Boyle Heights, a very, very important city in Los Angeles in East LA culture. The 6th Street Bridge, here's where it's really excellent for you to photograph. Uh, this is a Saturday morning that I'm walking through there. The fact is that during the day, it is not as beautiful as it is during the evening. Not nighttime, but evening, at dusk, right as the sun has set and you get these beautiful purples and oranges. LA gets extra layers of color in our sky because our pollution is so bad. But for that one time of the day, it's like this beautiful little extra color that we get. And so when you look east, the, the goal is to go deep enough into the bridge, at least at the halfway point. Now the bridge kind of curves, so depending where you're on the curve, it depends on the view that you get. There's this damn building that they're building in the Arts District, the super high rise. Doesn't belong there. I feel that that's more of the future of where the Arts District is going to go. High rise buildings, more occupancy, etc. But when you look east, after depending time of the year, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, you get the most magical sunsets in LA. And you get it coming from behind the buildings. And it changes every 5 minutes, every 10 minutes. Because as the sun starts moving behind the buildings, you get different reflections, different rays of light, different... It's just really, really beautiful. If you come from the downtown LA area, there's a parking lot right here that you see me pointing to. I wouldn't necessarily park on 6th Street because it's pretty sketch. As you can see, but there is, I believe that uh, street on the side, it's Mateo. On Mateo, you can park. There's a lot of meters, there's small parking lots, there's a lot of cafes and restaurants and lofts and some clothing stores, etc. So there's a lot of parking available there and then it's a very short walk to the bridge and you find your way there. If you're closer to the downtown LA side of the bridge, being on the northern side of the bridge is a better view. Again, that's entirely up to you and it's very subjective. There's like a spiral, really, really cool. Uh, plug your nose when you walk down because I think everybody has used that as the bathroom. As we keep walking, you're gonna start seeing more of the Boyle Heights side. It's easy access. It really, really is on both sides. But in the evening, what happens is, is that you get a lot of cars, like you'll start seeing these donut circles. Even on the sidewalk, I don't know how they do that. If somebody knows, put that in the, like what the hell is that? Is that a little, oh, you know what it is? Maybe the little electric gopeds, mopeds? Don't know. What are they called and how do, you, how do you do those? But they've kind of ruined the beauty of the street and they start doing circles. Like you can't have anything nice. Use the bridge, go up and down as much as you want. Go do your photo shoots. So a lot of times in the beginning, they shut this bridge down. And a lot of times in the summer, what the cops will do is just be present there. So come in, be respectful, get your shots. No one's really asking for permits. And then let's keep going. Now let's move to the next one, which I consider that this is going to be the shortest one. The Chinatown train station. It's kind of a bridge, but not really, but it is. It's also a high space and it's unique from all the other train stations in the fact that it's really respectful to the culture of Chinatown. You can go there and you can go, I mean, really any part of LA, but there's a direct path there all the way down to Long Beach and then all the way up to Azusa and uh, Pasadena. So here's what's really cool. It, the red there is so beautiful. At night, it's one of the highest stations. It's really, really beautiful. They have the, the lanterns there, the red, that those create some like bleeding pictures. There's just so much you can do. I think it's such a perfect spot for that. Either hard flash with a little bit of 
shutter drag. So you get all the red, like red, 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 red. You know, all the lanterns, the neon signs on the windows. But you also can do beautiful ambient light. Those Chinese lanterns, they create some good, good light. But they have a lot of neon lights there. And the neon lights aren't, they're cool. Like they have some neon lights that that are you know around the windows some look like at the gates of uh, different squares etc check out chinatown one of my favorite spots now they are super strict there so if you go within the squares there's always a security guard that takes the job seriously let's put it that way and they're like sorry you can't be here and they're polite you just so when you walk into these spots walk in with the f-stop you want walk in like ready to go do not waste time setting anything up what is next? Okay, so this next one is the 110 bridge. I don't know exactly the name of it, but you've seen so many images, so many videos of this. You've seen them in movies and you go, it's this beautiful pass. If you are leaving Chinatown Station, you would just go right back on Broadway Street. You take Broadway North towards Pasadena. You're going to make, if you're going north on Broadway, you're gonna make a left right here on this street. Now let's actually go up the hill together. You wanna make sure several things number one there's not a lot of lighting here number two there is a higher homeless population here number three there's people that cross the street out of nowhere so you just got to be really really careful you go up there's also a lot of cyclists coming down and they're coming down at pretty quick speeds so you're gonna go and it's gonna be kind of tempting to look down at the view just keep your eyes on the road you're gonna get to the top of this hill when you get to the top you're gonna see the little bridge that we'll be standing on. Avoid that little bridge at first and make a very sharp right turn into this little road and you're gonna park on the side. It's free, no one's gonna bother you. Walk down, it's like a 10 second walk, that's it. You're gonna walk down, walk to the bridge and then that's when you get the beautiful sunset. But the best time is either early morning or in the evening just because you get some color in the sky. For whatever reason, Sony shooters love to hang out here. Actually, I know the reason, because they love to tell everybody that the cameras work in pitch black. So go in the evening, get your shot there, and then you're. I think that you can get down the hill really fast. So this 110 bridge and the Chinatown train station, they're like right next to each other, super, super close. The 6th Street Bridge, is right down there too. It's another five minute drive. So I've got you guys back to back to back to back. I got you booked. So you could theoretically do a music video or a fashion shoot of cool places and you can get in, get out, get in, get out. The next spot. So let's just say we went from the 6th Street Bridge. Then we went to the Chinatown train station. Then we went to the 110 Bridge at Sketch Park. Came back down the park place, hit Broadway, Continue north on Broadway even more, and then you make a left on Thomas Road. So how I discover these spots, by the way, is that I, I've always liked going for walks. When I have to like problem solve, when I have to think about stuff, I go for walks. Alrighty, so one day I was going for a walk and I'm like, what is this road that the concrete is broken? The houses look like they're about to slide off, but the view looks amazing. And any road that goes like this, you're like, oh, this is a nice neighborhood. Any road that goes like that and you just kind of pray as your car is moving up, that's going to be an exciting neighborhood. It's a public community area. So this is how I got up the hill. You go up, you make this first left, follow up the windy road. Now you can park anywhere on the side. And it is a 15 second walk towards our spot. You're going to see a home under construction. One day it will be constructed. This whole area is getting gentrified. Um, you're gonna see like a parking gate. That's city land. You're allowed to go there. I mean, kinda, allegedly. Go under it, go around it, hop over it, be safe. And you're gonna see the road really, really broken. And then you get the most spectacular views. You get the most, so all the other spots, I said more in the evenings. Evening, as you can see, it's beautiful. Little wild flowers grow up there, stunning. After the spring, like the rains come in, all of that field is beautiful, like almost up to your waist, like these pampas in Argentina, these green grasses, and we have beautiful grasses. And then when the grasses get uh, dry in the fall, you have beautiful dry golden fields. Um, it's always breezy up there because it's high up. Everybody is cool. Everybody is in the spirit of sharing. It's considered East LA. It's very family. People go for walks. People are just very happy. They love music. 
like to have a beer there. Majority of people take their trash back down with them. It's amazing time for evening, for fireworks to go up there. Morning light, gorgeous. Evening light, even more gorgeous. Mid daylight, pretty great. Our next one is a parking structure on Flower Street in downtown LA. It's on Fifth and it's on Flower. Uh, I'm gonna call it for the lack of just a proper name for it, the the, Bonavent the Western Bonaventure Bridge. And this will connect the parking structure to the hotel. There's one lower bridge and then there's a higher bridge. Please be careful. Please don't sit up there. We're on Flower in Fifth, okay? I'm gonna walk up. You're gonna see staircases on your right side of the street, on the west side of the street. You're gonna walk up the staircase just one or two floors. We're going to see a parking structure. We'll go into the parking structure, hit the elevator for the R for the roof. Go to the roof. You're going to see the first view. Make sure you stand in the corner. Black and white looks like vintage New York. Super 8 film looks like vintage New York. Color looks like New York LA. You get this beautiful straight path. You should do an entire music video there, fashion shoot there. Rihanna did her Fenty show in this area. They used this bridge. It was this is beautiful. Downtown, uh, the Bonavent Western Bonaventure Hotel is a very unique, iconic hotel. It's in so many different movies. Elevators are outside the building, so you get a whole different view. You can see some of these elevators. But let's just, just see, like, look at the view. If you stand in the middle of the bridge, it's impeccable. It's just such a clean, gorgeous view. I'm going to do a fashion shoot up here too. There's this actor I want to shoot. So I'm going to see if he wants to go there. Have fun here. But when you go there, so on the side in the corner of the parking structure, you get a really gorgeous view. On the bridge, you get an amazing view. And then there's a little bonus treat, like a half of a bonus, just like morsels of a bonus. You can go take that bridge and go into the, bon the Bonaventure. There are several elevators. There's inside elevators, there's outside elevators. Take one of the outside ones. You need some B-roll. Get in that elevator, even if you got your phone, film up and down the elevator, and you're gonna see some of the most spectacular views. Go to the back side of the building, you're gonna get Hollywood. Go to the front side of the building, you're gonna get downtown LA. I didn't do the sides. I'm sure there's elevators there. It's so, so beautiful. Get your footage and go. I hope this helped you. This video here, where is it at? Right there is my first location video. If you have questions, if you have additional tips for any of the locations that I said, or any ideas of what you want to see in and around Southern California as far as locations for photos, etc., let me know in the comments. Hello, new faces, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much.